Hi Pisces, my name is Sansi. I'm gonna do a one card reading out of my uh, cartouche deck. It's the ways, the ways of cartouche. I'll show you the book. I've had this deck for uh, 45 years, almost as long as I've had the Rider Waite. This was my second deck I ever bought. And uh, I, I haven't used it in like 10 years. I don't know why because it really gives in-depth reading. Um, but I thought it would be fun to do just like a one-card reading right now. And um, at some point in time, we'll do a five-star reading. It's called Five Star in this book. And a, so you get five points on the star, right? But uh, we'll, we'll do that later. I just want, want to kind of break back into this deck a little bit, kind of slow. Um, cause I don't remember the meaning. I have used it for years and, um, and we'll just, I'll go by my intuition, which I did. I wrote everything down on my intuition alone, and then we'll read out of the book. Okay. Cause I like to keep it separate. Um, and also during the reading or d when you're read, uh, reading out of the book, It'll give you like extra pointers, like if it falls in the second house or the first star or whatever, it'll give you kind of extra clarity. So, um, but it won't mean a whole lot right now, but I would just take it, take the whole reading in, take what pertains to you and leave the rest, okay? Just kind of like normal. But this is a, a lot, a, a real different deck, okay? Different than all the others. But what I pulled for you was fire. How good is that, right? And number 11, which is a sacred number. And I just felt like you're on fire. Like you are killing it right now. And uh, let me read to you what I wrote. This is one of the best readings of the whole. Uh, of all 12 signs and you were last. So I wrote burning the candle at both ends, working hard and playing hard. Um, but trying to keep the balance, which you are, you're keeping the balance. The fire is contained here in this little pot, right? So you're doing really good. Um, I feel like things are really good in your life overall, your family, your work, your home life. And if you're in school or, uh, working and, uh, going to college, like, uh, my daughter is, uh, she's really killing it and keeping the balance in the meantime, doing everything really just amazing. So I like to see that. And then uh, one of my son-in-laws is also a Pisces, and he's doing really well right now, too. Um, so a little shout-out to Alex and Amber. Hey, guys. Um, but I just feel like things are going really good right now, really good. So I would just keep doing you. Just keep, you don't need to change anything. Just keep going. Stay on that path. Um, I would suggest getting plenty of sleep and, and eating right uh, to keep your health up while you're uh, playing hard and working hard, okay? But that's it. That's it. No no warnings, nothing bad. Everything is good. It's, it's fantastic, okay? And um, oh, here, let me read to you out of the book what it says. Here, I'll hold this up and... Uh, see if you can get any more messages. Um, sometimes you'll just get a feeling or something will ju jump out at you and, and go with that. Okay, just use your intuition. Um, you could also take a screenshot or pause a video or just uh, look at the card while I'm reading and you might get other messages, okay? Um, okay, the Egyptian symbol is the Dijid. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm on the wrong page. I'm oh, sorry. Here, hold on. I got to go to 11. Oh, I apologize. I don't read in the book prior. and I was still on Taurus. So let me find. 
Okay, 11, here we are. Okay. Um, the Egyptian symbol is a jackal-headed guardian, right? A jackal-headed guardian. Damatif, oh my gosh, I'm not going to be able to say this, but it's spelled D-U-A-M-U-T-E-F. Damatif, Damatif, but anyway, it's one of the four sons of Horus, and it's movable energy, right, because it's fire. Um, the upright re meaning, and you did get it upright, is energy, creativity, loyalty, valor, and ardor. And then I'm going to read the uh, super conscious level to you right now. Fire represents the application of available energy according to where it falls in a reading. Spirituality, it suggests creative gifts that can be used to bring light. The ancients employed the symbol of the phoenix, a mystical bird which was reborn from the ashes of its own funeral pyre. To illustrate the spirituality, rejuvenative nature of this element, unlike more impersonal kind of inspiration received from the archetypes, fire is utterly personal and relates to the higher self or that individual creative spark unique to each and every one of us okay now i'm going to re read you the subconscious level personal energy and mental creativity are signified here the creative artist ideas person inventor writer and so forth a little understanding of the nature of the element of fire will help Fire can burn brightly and consume all around it, or it can die down to an ember. People who have the element of fire strongly in their nature will exhibit such personality traits. At this level, fire can also represent a condition that is being kept alive or aflame. In the seventh house, for example, a deep relationship, or in the fifth house, a specific talent that will endure into life's more mature years. Fire's qualities are loyalty, valor, and energy. So if your question concerns a condition where any of these principles might prove handy and fire appears, you may count yourself fortunate. Okay, how great is that? Okay, I'm going to read you the material, mundane, or conscious level. Burning bridges for the better is one of fire's indications at this level. Pulling down old edifices is another, as well as a general purging, according to the house and nature of the inquirer. Fire purifies and refines, so if a situation is not to your liking, the indication is that you will be inspired or prompted by your own psyche to pursue a line of action that will ultimately burn up the rubbish and resolve the problem. Okay, so it's just burning away old things, you know, like getting rid of old things that you don't need or want in your life. That includes people. So you could like donate old clothes that you haven't worn for a long time. You could get rid of friends that are not truly your friends. Um you know, to get your life where you want it, you know, cohesive and together and tight knit because, you know, we don't need friends in our life that aren't really friends. Right. Um, but anyway, I just see this as being just an amazing card to get. And it's really great. It's really great. So I would just say, keep doing you. Just keep doing you, keep going down the path you're on, and you're going to be fine, all right? Okay, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope to see you on the next one. All right, okay, bye-bye.